Shook it up. Good morning, party people! No? You're not interested? <laughs> Today is the 9th of April. It is day 3 million in quarantine. The dogs are up. We're all up, it's sunny, hence why I'm in shorts and bikini and a crop top. I'm just about to have my coffee, I've had a shower, I did my makeup because someone said that I looked like Michael Jackson on my last video, which I thought was pretty mean and he's been blocked now because I don't tolerate negativity on my channel. But it's a bit mean, so I thought maybe I'd take the hint and uh, do some makeup. Um, and I'm just about to have a coffee, I have that on the go. I have a big pile of pros and stuff that I'm gonna take you through, because that got delivered yesterday. And right now I'm eating one of the um, cookie thins, which is kind of like the dark part of an Oreo, the biscuity part of an Oreo. And what I've been doing <laughs> since yesterday, since it got delivered, is I get the choco butter, which is like a halm and coconut flavor. And I put it on the little thin, and then I consume it, and I'm happy. I hope you're all okay, and that you're not going stir crazy at home. But remember that this is essential for um, the world to continue on, and for half of the population not to die. Um, we're protecting ourselves, and we're protecting our future. So just suck it up, watch some Netflix watch some YouTube videos and enjoy your time at home because in a couple of months time you'll be complaining about having to go to work. I've had my coffee and I'm just going to take you quickly through what I got from Prozis this month. Um, they are still delivering, there is no delay with their delivering, they still have loads of stock and as you'll see from what I got they have a lot of food, pastas, things like that. So if you are struggling to get pasta and things like that or just stay on track while you're on lockdown and you're at home it might be a good time to go and check out Prozis. They always have um, offers running and usually when you spend a certain amount you get um, a gift and um, if you use Lainey you get 10% off. That so. is not a commission based thing where I get money from it, it just shows that you're supporting me and obviously encourages them to keep on working with me because they can see that people are using my links and using my discount code. So I'm just going to jump into this, show you what I've gotten um, because they just have so much stuff. Lex is out with his sister. They're gone to the grocery store and um, she is quarantining with us. Is that even a word, quarantining? But she's here with us because she lives in London and she is working from home on her laptop. She couldn't go and stay with Lex's mum because um, she's high risk and is also still working. So we have a full house and we're getting through the food. And it's good because we have an extra person to talk to since we're not out and about and seeing other people. So, jumping in to my process delivery that arrived yesterday. Yes, I am completely OCD. I like to lay it out. Um, so, first of all, this is actually a fake news because it's empty and they were sold out. But they actually have them back in stock now. So, that's why I wanted to put it in with the delivery. And that was my last one I had it the other day. But they're so good. They're just a pizza base. Really high in protein, low in carbs. And just me and Lex love them. You just pile them up with whatever you want on top. The pastas, I got a box of them last month and often I find that protein pastas taste like crap to be honest but these ones really really good and um, you do have to weigh it out you don't want to be um, doing crazy portions but for uh, 100 grams I usually have about 60 grams but 100 grams is 1.6 grams of fat 31 grams of carbs and 50 protein so they're just really nice and tasty protein muesli I usually get through about a box of this oh, a month and the protein muesli is great on yogurt that's what I put it on because I like a bit of crunch to my yogurt I've been waiting for this to come back in stock the maple syrup because I love me some zero syrup finally got it and um, this is my second bottle of the teriyaki sauce if anyone likes teriyaki it's really good really strong flavor and um, I'm always on with the h2o infusion because of the vitamin c I literally take one of these a day and it's 2000 milligrams of vitamin c these guys here got them last month awesome tried them they taste like a kinder bueno except in like a little cookie form and um, this was a free gift so yum 
Um, the chocolate malts are like Maltesers. We've got some of the savoury drops, which are great for cooking with. So I decided to get some of the basil ones. I've been using the thyme and the oregano. Um, I'm, I've already gotten through a bottle of the marzipan yummy drops. So um, we're on with more of them. Uh, the zero chips, because we both love them. The barbecue ones are the best. We've got some zero cookies. I've got a few different flavours. We just stick them in the microwave for 30 seconds and oh my God. Oh my God, so good. They're like a chewy, delicious biscuit. Then we've got the choco butter that I showed you earlier. Um, these are like Smarties. So I haven't tried them yet, but just wanted to give them a go. So I got a couple of packs of them. The zero snacks are kind of like a smaller size of the cookie. So again, stick them in the microwave. You've got yourself a chewy, yummy biscuit. Um, I've got some of my vitamins, just topping them up. Selenium, vitamin E and zinc. Zinc is so important right now, guys, for your immunity. So get on it. We've got some bread. Um, Lex really likes this brioche bread. Um, it's a chocolate chip one, just uh, toasted. It does toast quite quickly so just don't put it in the toaster for as long as you normally would then I've got the whole grain bread which is good for with the bean of butter for breakfast which I might have later then I wanted to try some of these they're like sugar-free little lozenges and they've got like all goodness and yumminess in them and these are the cookies that I showed you earlier um, and I just this will probably last me a lifetime because there's so many of them so we have everything here and my favorite thing obviously is chocolate so zero milk chocolate with cereal I just topped them up during the month and then I got this lovely jumper because it just looks lush doesn't it um, I just thought it was really cute and it's cream and I don't really have many cream jumpers so I just want to try that. Last month I got these leggings in navy and loved them so much that I decided to get them in the black as well. And I got them in an extra small, I usually get the tops in a size small. And uh, just the quality guys, you can't beat it. My battery is flashing at me now so I'm going to go and change my battery and um, maybe have some breakfast because I haven't actually eaten breakfast so I need to get my vitamin water into me get my vitamins in and I'm going to do obviously an at-home workout today I think I will do biceps and triceps um, and then maybe take the dogs for a walk it's actually really unseasonably warm here it's like 20 degrees celsius and it's April so we're not complaining. We've been blessed with nice weather during this lockdown period. Hopefully it will last. So before my battery completely dies, these, I've missed them. They're a zero break duo bar. They actually taste like a Kit Kat. Lex's sister had one last night. Lex had one yesterday. And um, I think my palate is kind of immune to the bars. So might not be the best opinion, but they said it was really good. So. It is really, really tasty. Tastes like a Kit Kat, lower sugar. So get on it. Perfect for the pantry. I've spent the past hour, hour and a half cleaning. Um, I like to keep the surfaces super clean, especially when there's packages coming in from Amazon and things like that. So I cleaned down all the surfaces. I dusted all the surfaces in the lounge. I've done all the floors. So disinfecting everything i have separate shoes that i wear out to walk the dogs and they're left on the front porch and then i've got my indoor shoes for around the house so it's like little things like that that i suppose are time consuming but um for me i just find that kind of puts my mind at ease and now i am finally making breakfast so i've got some of the multigrain toast i've got some egg whites and i put some of the um basil flavor drops in and I'm just waiting to on my egg sausages, which are ready. Uh, I'm currently reading a book, and I read a book every night before I go to bed. It helps me sleep. So my book right now, I don't read anything too intellectual, so don't get excited about any insights. But the character in the book is called Gemma. She's a vlogger, and she's her career is just after taking off as a vlogger. She got dumped, and she made this like real in-depth um, video about it, about her heartbreak and everything. And then like her channel took off and she started dating this other um, YouTuber. But obviously this is written by someone who isn't actually a YouTuber. And this girl is like making all these videos that are like nothing like her actual life, making like healthy recipes that she doesn't actually enjoy. Um, also their timescales that 
she makes a video and puts it up the next day, which is highly unrealistic. I don't know if anyone actually does that. Maybe they do. Well, maybe I'm just a shit YouTuber. But I don't know, it just like kind of has been like opening my eyes to the fact that obviously there are people out there that make YouTube videos and are super fake and um, aren't really showing their life. But I can assure you that's not me. Um, I can assure you that uh, it's not all fun and roses and well actually there are roses here <laughs> but everything isn't all perfect in my life Um, obviously it's a highlight reel that you get to see you get to see about 20 minutes of snapshot of what my life is like on a 24 7 365 days a year and you get to see like about 20 minutes of it and half of that is me doing exercise so it's not really a realistic I suppose perception of my life but I like to show parts of it and keep you included in my life but this is what my breakfast is right now a lot of days I just have some toast with marmalade on but today I felt like oh, some uh, protein so, I'm gonna go and watch some shit TV while I eat my breakfast, because that's the reality of it. I'll walk the dogs in a bit, they're looking a bit sad, and then I might put on some gym clothes and do a bit of a workout, biceps, triceps. Working out is not as fun right now, um, I'm not enjoying it as much because the whole thing of working out is to get away from it all. I usually put on my headphones, listen to something and do my workout. Whereas now I'm in the house and I can hear things going on. I can hear the dogs. If I'm doing it downstairs, they're literally on top of me. So I'm not really enjoying my workouts. I feel like every Tom, Dick and Harry on Instagram is putting up really bad at home workouts that don't work your body at all. Whereas I've been putting up at home workouts for the last couple of years to try and help people who don't actually want to go to the gym and now everyone's jumping on the bandwagon and doing really crappy workouts so um, maybe go back through my instagram you'll see at home or body weight things like that and they genuinely do work and i do enjoy them now i'm sure there are loads of people disclaimer there are loads of people putting up really good workouts that i have actually been saving but on the flip side like there's people who i doubt have ever worked out in their life who are putting up workouts on Instagram and um, so just be careful who you follow really and um, there are some really good workouts out there I have to say um, and don't be put off as well by the perception that you have to be doing a workout or that you have to look like these amazing Instagram models like I've put on makeup and done my hair today but that's mostly because someone said something nasty on my last video but most of the time I'm slouching around in close to what our pyjamas and um, if I do a workout, I do a workout. If I edit a video, I edit a video, but I'm not doing anything substantial. I'm not coming up with the cure for Corona. I'm not out on the front line. Um, I'm at home making videos. So, you know, don't be put off by the fact that maybe you're just sat watching YouTube or you're sat watching Netflix. That's okay too, because it's a really surreal experience we're all going through. So you just have to be in it together, try and be positive, try and not put negativity out into the world, which I'm just after by slating people who are actually trying to help other people. So I apologize because that's not very nice. And we just try and be positive, get through this. Hopefully by the summertime, we'll be out in our back gardens, going to the pubs, back to some form of normality and we won't be too badly hit by this. So I have breakfast and moving on to some coffee. So I've got my coffee, my brew, I've got my yummy drops in it. Got some of the Califia Farms coconut almond blend. You can get it in Sainsbury's here in the UK. And I love it in my coffee, it kind of makes it a little bit chocolatey. And yesterday I went on a bit of a baking buzz so I made my carrot cake muffins and I made my brownie bites into, well, brownies. 
and uh, I'm gonna microwave one of these for about 15 seconds to melt all the chocolate in because I keep them in the fridge because there's dairy in them and um, then I'll take the dogs out because it's nice and sunny outside and Lex is in from grocery shopping how was your grocery experience Lex? it shouldn't be called grocery shopping it should be called grocery queuing okay I did more queuing than I did shopping but he's a hero now why? Because you went out and risked it for a biscuit. I did risk it for a biscuit, yeah. specifically. Hobnobs. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going outside to enjoy some sunshine. How are you finding this heat wave? You enjoying it? She struggled on the walk, didn't you, Bales? In from the dog walk, gonna go and sit in the sun for a bit with Lex and the doggies. Although they've probably had enough sun for now. Roxy goes a bit mental in the sunshine because she chases shadows. She's gone for the ball to Lex now. So we're gonna go outside, enjoy some coffee, sunshine, family time. And then maybe later I'll do a workout. Because that's what it's like, isn't it, in quarantine? You have great intentions. I did change the bed sheets and stuff though today. So that's a win for today. I've been outside sunbathing and because the sun is shining and I'm pretending it's like a little vacation, this is not juice. This is a cider. They've been in the fridge for ages to be honest, I don't know how good they're going to be but you know when it's like really warm out. Oh, so satisfying. I'm going to have balance it out with some health with some zero chips. I'm gonna go outside and sunbathe, Bailey. What have you been eating, Bailey? What have you been eating? Bailey has taken to eating all the dandelions in the garden, which um, I googled to make sure it was okay because I don't want her to be sick or anything. And apparently it's really good for dogs to eat dandelions because of all their healing properties. Good for their liver, their kidney function. So encourage your dogs to eat the dandelions. Number one, it'll get rid of the dandelions in your garden, and number two, it's actually good for them. So, top tip from doggy owner and cider swiller, Vaney. I sat out in the sun for a couple of hours, and I'm probably going to be covered in a million and one freckles, cause, hashtag Irish. And Bailey has just had her dinner. Yeah, she's had her dinner and she had a little antihistamine because Bailey's allergic to grass. So um, we give her half an antihistamine or we have kids antihistamine that we give her as well. And we run it by the best. They said it's completely fine and probably the best thing for her and she has allergies. So right now, back inside, I actually moved all the furniture as well outside so that we could optimize the sunshine. But I'm back baking. So I'm making an apple and rhubarb crumble. I don't even like rhubarb, so it's just for Lex and Natasha. And uh, what I do is just simply get some cooking apples, some rhubarb, which is in season right now. Um, rhubarb, really super low in carbs. It's only three grams of carbs per 100 grams. So if you are on a low carb diet and like rhubarb, unfortunately I don't, but Lex does, so. Um, you can just um, cook that up with some cinnamon, I'll put some sugar or you can put some sweetener in just to take a little bit of the edge off because rhubarb is quite bitter. And then make a crumble for on top. You can make a healthy one. Um, I actually have a recipe over on my cooking channel. So a lot of my recipes are over on my cooking channel. I will eventually get around to making them into a little ebook for you guys that you could just download and have. Um, it's kind of half written, half not. Just have to get a website to actually put it on. So um, yeah, just gonna make that. And the vegan recipe, which means there's no butter, no eggs, no nothing in it. So it's coconut flour and coconut oil is over on my cooking channel. So go check that out if you wanna see a nice crumble recipe. It has gotten the thumbs up from Lex, who is a crumble fanatic. So you just leave that on a medium heat pretty much anyway, and cook it down. You can just add it to custard or add it to um, yogurt or whatever you want if you don't want to make it into a crumble. It's a nice compote. So it's 6pm and I'm having some rice cakes 
These are the crispy chalk ones. I actually forgot to get them on my latest delivery. But um, it's like my pre-workout carbs. I'm going... Mm -mm -mm. Once I've done munching these, I'm going to do an upper body workout. Um, they're just begging right now. Can't even see Roxy. She camouflages. I'll do that and then um, take these out for a walk. And then I'm going to make a chicken stir fry for dinner. Chocolate boobs. So, this is our little workout area in our lounge. Lex picked these up today in um, Aldi when he went to get the groceries. So, um, even though it's only 3 kg, because it's kind of a weird shape. Hello, baby. Um, it actually feels a lot heavier. So, I'm going to do some bicep curls with that. And then do some like tricep extensions, something like that. I've also got my uh, resistance bands, which you can still pick up on Amazon, but they have gotten more expensive, which I think is ridiculous. And um, just got a t shirt for when I go out walking the dogs. Lex also has these weighted vests, so I think that's more of a leg thing. Lex was using the vest to uh, do chest exercises. But uh, I did chest early in the week just with the resistance bands, so I'm all set there. So we'll get some kind of a workout done and um, walk these pooches again. Baby, you're so nosy. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. workout complete and now I'm about to go and walk the dogs where are they there they're waiting to go out and poop in a field so I'm gonna take them out and then I'll get on with making some dinner uh, I forgot to show you my dinner cuz I'm the best youtuber in the world so I can show you the leftovers I have in my Tupperware I made a, a pie green curry stir fry thing and it was yummy with some rice and now I'm on to dessert which is a high protein white chocolate yogurt and the chocolate muesli from Prozis and some peanut butter and some chocolate chips and some of the maple because it tastes yummy. I'm gonna have this and then I'm making Lexical tea and I've made the crumble so that's it. 
tea crumble and then we're watching Money Heist, apparently. So the crumble is ready and has to be served, obviously, with proper clotted cream, ice cream. And that's us done for the evening. It's kind of turned into a full day of eating video, which I hope you enjoyed sharing what we're eating during quarantine, what we're doing to try and stay sane. And uh, hopefully I'll get more videos recorded and uploaded to entertain you guys. And um, if there's anything you'd like to see, um, try on videos or sit down chatty videos, whatever you want, just comment down below. I read all the comments and I try and comment back. So um, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause bitch, they be